So in the last video, we looked at arithmetic sequences and how to use a recurrence relation to come up with the sequence itself. In this video, we're going to take this sequence and we're going to graph it. So I'm just going to get rid of this and move that over there. All right, there's our recurrence relation and there are our first five terms. I've added a term. 9, 5, 1, negative 3 and negative 7. Now, in order to graph this, I'm going to create this in such a way that it looks very familiar to things you've done back in year 8, year 9. All right, we've got a nice little table of values here. Now, I am going to change it slightly, so I don't go writing anything down yet. Now, this thing here is term n, right? So term 1 is 9, term 2 is 5, term 3 is 1. And this one here, I'm going to relabel it as just n, right? And then we're going to go N1, N2, 3, 4, 5. So let's just get rid of the T's. Beautiful. We have a nice little table here. And this table tells us the first term is 9. The second term is 5. The third term is 1. The fourth term is negative 3. And the fifth term is negative 7. Now that we've got that, we can graph it the same way that we graphed this as X's and, and Y's in the past. All right, let's get a magical little graph up and running. Uh, there we go. And we're going to label our x-axis as n, right? So I'm going to put an n there. Bump, n. And we're going to label our y-axis as term n. So right up here, t, n. Okay, and then we just get started putting in our points. So uh, n1, so n1 over there, t9 right there. There's our first point. Our second point. 2, 5, so again, 2, 5, and we're putting it right there. Our next point, 3, 1, 3, 1, right there. Our next point, 4, negative 3, 4, negative 3, right there. And our next point, 5, negative 7, 5, negative 7, right there. Okay. That's it. We have graphed our arithmetic sequence. Now, something I really want you to note here. Arithmetic sequences are always straight lines. We can draw a straight line through those points. If you've graphed it and you can't draw a straight line through those points, then you've made a mistake. Something has gone wrong. Now, I need to graph one more because I want to show you the difference between one kind of arithmetic sequence and this kind of arithmetic sequence. So here's my second example. Uh, you can see I've got this nice little formula for my recurrence relation. Term 1 is negative 8. All right. And then it says the next term will be equal to the current term plus 3. So negative 8 plus 3, negative 5. Plus 3, negative 2. Plus 3, 1. Plus 3, 4. Okay, let's graph that on our recurrence relation. Now be careful, don't start at 0, because our first term is 1. Alright, so 1, negative 8, right there. Okay, I'll do one more, you don't need to watch me do the rest. 2, negative 5, so 2 across, negative 5, there. Alright, let me do the rest. Alright, so that's done now, and you can see, they're all in a straight line, so I probably haven't made a mistake there, yay me. But the thing I want you to notice is that the blue dots and the pink dots, the pink dots are going up over time. Up, 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 up. The blue dots are going down over time. So the blue dots come from this first sequence, sequence and we can say that it's a decreasing sequence. And you can probably guess that we can call these pink lines an increasing sequence. Decreasing sequence increasing sequence. This one is a decreasing sequence because the numbers are going down. This one's an increasing sequence because it's going up. Last two important words I need to talk about. An increasing sequence, one that goes like this, can be used to model something called linear growth, growing over time. A decreasing sequence can be used to model something called linear, linear like a line. It's in a straight line. Linear Decay, decay, like a, a, like a something decaying, get, getting worse and worse, getting smaller and smaller. 
Well, I think we can keep this video nice and short and to the point. We've seen two examples. These tables come from like year eight math, so we should be feeling pretty confident with that. And we should be able to put them on these graphs. And we should be able to spot our mistakes because we know these need to be in straight 